and welcome to Purple Wednesdays. I'm Courtney Valentine. And I'm G. As you know, this is your weekly update every Wednesday morning so you know how our clubs are getting on all over Scotland and in Sheffield. This week I'm proud to announce RGU absolutely caused it at Bucks Nationals, as small as we are, in what is a huge national event. Outstanding. But let's start with last week's winners. It was a monumental week for our football team as their strong push for promotion heats up. The Red Hot Purse came away with a 4-1 victory against their Capital City counterparts, Edinburgh Seconds. G scoring two magnificent goals, apparently, and Frenchman Loic scoring here. Our new cheerleaders, in a flash of purple, have somehow managed to become the newly crowned National University Champions of Level 2 Division. This is a massive accomplishment for the girls, who have spent some time on their routine from Institute Nightclub. Women's Rugby, in their first ever match, carved out an impressive 37-15 victory against Edinburgh Seconds. Miriam Campbell scoring this delicious try. If things continue like this, I expect to see a Granite City point coming our way. Basketball men's just beat Strathclyde Seconds with the final three throw of the match. Our boys were putting our boys in a very strong position to win the league. I've been told that he missed the final three throw on purpose to stall for time. Do I believe him? I don't know. Hockey First also have a chance of winning the league after a 4-1 victory. Results will have to go our way, but you never know. Unfortunately, the game was abandoned with minutes remaining, with our star captain, Gail, taking a ball to the face. I hope she has a speedy recovery. I must say, what a photo. Breaking news? Breaking news? Yep, thank you. Volleyball, both men's and women, have won 3-1, which puts both our teams through to the semi-finals on the 6th of March. Well done. But let's well get to the honeypot, Bucks Nationals. Bucks Nationals, indeed. The, the athletes left Aberdeen at 2 a.m. on Friday morning, arriving in Sheffield to join the influx of student athletes. Swimming was our first result to come through, most notably Kirsty Simpson, who won the women's 50 and 100 metre backstrokes, a gold medal. Also, Rachel Masson emerged victorious in the women's 100 metre freestyle. RGU finished seventh out of all competing British universities which is an incredible achievement given the size of our uni. Well done. Table tennis superstar Colin Douglas smashed it, winning a bronze medal, getting a, a tricky draw against the eventual victor. Athletics president Emma Leesk boshed her 800 metre final, doing a Kelly Holmes and coming from way behind the field as you can see. What a character. Big Marcus leapt an incredible two metres to finish 12th in the high jump. Our men's climbers finished 31st and our females 35th. So on behalf of the old Granite City, I would like to say thank you to all the athletes for your behaviour and attitudes shown on the trip. True examples and role models for the future. That unfortunately brings us on to our losers. Men's rugby, come on guys, almost relegated. Men's golf, we're unlucky. Our netball girls and badminton, although they sent in this fantastic video. Let's see an improvement from everyone next week. So what's happening this week, Courtney? The Boxing Club are hosting their big box event on the 26th of March. Tables are still available at £35 a ticket or standing tickets cost £15. It is expected to be quite a bout. Also, it is Eating Disorders Week this week, so don't forget to wear your silly socks. If you do happen to be watching some of our matches, or socks, send us the photos at purplewednesdays at rguunion.co.uk. That's all for this week. If you're around, why not come support one of our teams? We look forward to seeing you in the Institute tonight. <laughs> <laughs>